Man, I'm gonna pass out. I'm Hiro Ogawa, 30 years old, running a small web marketing company. Seriously, boss? You look like a mess with that bedhead. S sorry Just stay put, okay? Don't move a muscle. Yeah, got it. And here's the cool lady, Maya Sasaki, 25, our ace secretary. Boss, another all-nighter, huh? N no way! Can't lie! Those bags under your eyes give it away. Ugh. Seriously, eat your breakfast already. Got a sandwich ready for you. Thanks, I'll take it. Can't tell who's the boss around here. Come to think of it, it's almost been two years. There's a bit of a backstory to how we met. Please hire her! I vouch for her excellence! <sighs> okay, stop bowing. Here's Ron Tension. She's the president of a longtime client, but due to financial troubles, they're going under. Please stop, Ron. I appreciate it, but he seems quite puzzled, too. As a boss, I gotta find a way to rehire my employees! It's my last job! But everyone's been turning us down. No one else will hire someone like me. Plus, I'm not really friendly. Hmm... She does seem a bit tough to handle, but... Got it. I'll take care of her. Really? Oh, God bless you! We were actually looking for a secretary, so... Wow, you're so kind. Uh, but when we actually start working together... Ugh. Mm. Ugh, no conversation. If I talk to her, she'll at least respond, but... Um, you can fire me now, if you want. What? I'm not doing that. But you only hired me because Vaughn asked, right? No one else would hire someone like me. Why are you saying that? I'm not good at showing my emotions. I know it's not good, but I end up being cold. That's why I couldn't get hired anywhere. Finally, Ron gave me a chance and I got a job. I see. Ron appreciated me. But I know myself best. Someone like me... Ugh. Well, Ron wasn't wrong. You're super capable, Maya. Huh? You mastered the job I taught you and understands your own weaknesses. Not everyone can do that. But a cold girl like me? Well, to tell the truth, I was confused earlier. Uh, I knew it. But talking like this, I get you now. If you don't mind, want to stick by my side? Huh? Thank, thank you. I'll work harder so that I can grow. A lot has happened since then. We've been through thick and thin together. And thanks to Maya, the company's grown big. Hmm? Anyway, now that things are picking up, I'm thinking of hiring a new receptionist. Who do you think is good? Hmm? Let's go with someone quiet and modest. Can't have the office morals go haywire. Just as I thought, Maya. You get it. Oh, it's nothing. It's just my job as a secretary. All right, let's get on with the selection process then. And a month later. Hi, everyone. I'm Haru Maeda, your new receptionist. Nice to meet you. Isn't she a little different from what we discussed? She was the best we could find. Don't worry, she said she has a boyfriend. Well, if that's the case... Time passed and... Haru, with her beauty and high communication skills, became quite popular. Wow, your receptionist is really impressive. I'm jealous. Thank you, President Otakuda. It's Otakuda, not Otaku. Oh, right. My bad. People often make that mistake. Phew. Hiring her was a good decision. But then one day, I witnessed something shocking. Hey, Haru. Let's go for drinks after work. Oh, come on. Not sure about that. Hey, no fair. Have a drink with me. Come. Don't fight over me. Uh, is this okay? I mean, she said she has a boyfriend, so... A week later. I've been seeing similar scenes lately. Uh, 
What should I do? You seem troubled. If it's about the employees, leave it to me. Really? Then... Keep an eye on the office morale. Things are getting a little chaotic. Hmm? The younger guys seem really into Haru. If it starts affecting their work, that'd be a problem, right? Especially since we don't allow office romances here. Oh, I see. Wait, what? I didn't know we had a no office romance policy. Y yeah but why so surprised? It's the first time I'm hearing this. Really? I thought you knew. You mentioned before that office morale was important, so... Oh, that was just... Actually, before you joined us, there was a big problem with office romances. Oh. It got so bad that we had to create an unwritten rule against it. It's not an official policy, but... I see. Sorry for not telling you. I thought you'd hear about it from someone else. That's fine, but... Then what should I do with these feelings? Whoa, too close. Boss, you said you wanted me by your side, right? Y yeah I said that, but... It made me so happy to feel accepted for who I am. I really like you, boss. <laughs> Maya likes me? I mean, I like her too, but... I'm sorry, but if I, the CEO, start dating, it won't set a good example for the others. I understand. I'm sorry for causing you trouble. No, it's not. More importantly, it's time. Let's go. Tonight was Haru's welcome party, but... Uh, this is so awkward. What am I supposed to do? Oh, those two. Hmm. I see what's going on. Here, boss. Have a drink. Uh, thanks. Hmm. So, boss, are you seeing anyone? Huh? No, I'm not. I fell for you at first sight during the interview. I totally fell in love with you. What? you joking, right? But you said you had a boyfriend. Oh, I broke up with him ages ago. Hey, we're not allowed to date here. He's got enough on his plate. Back off already. Doesn't look like he's complaining. Besides, you can't help who you fall for, right? Rules are rules. Follow them. Ugh, jeez. That's totally dumb. Oh, man. Someone save me. So from then on, Haru kept making moves on me, and Maya seemed to get competitive, too. I baked some cookies. Here comes the plane. Too many sweets aren't good for you. I made a healthy lunch. G guys we're still on the clock. Oh? What are you talking about? It's break time. Anyway, if this keeps up, I'm gonna issue a restraining order. What? That's so unfair. Jeez, you're such a tyrant, boss. Is this some kind of joke? I get Maya being into me, but Haru? But a few days later, when I came home after finishing work... Hey, boss! Let's go grab a drink. Wait, that's not a good idea! Come on! We're off the clock. It's fine, right? But we have a no-office romance policy. That kind of excuse doesn't cut it. I'm serious about you, boss. <gasps> she's close, and she smells so good. What do I do? You rejected me, but now this? This is so unfair. If she's playing dirty, then I will. Another day, after a late night at work. Hey, boss. Want dinner? A bath? Or me? Uh, maybe a bath first. Wait, what are you doing here? We've been together for two years. This is practically common-law marriage. No, it's not! How'd you even get in here? Did you forget? You asked me to grab something the other day. Oh, right. I left you the spare key. I'll treasure it forever. So, after a lot of back and forth, I let Maya stay the night. Couldn't exactly kick her out at this hour. 
Sorry about earlier. Huh? What for? I kind of lost it. I saw you and Haru alone the other day. You saw that? We left right after that, you know? I know! But still... Don't get too close to other girls. I really like you, boss. <sighs> Maya... What am I supposed to do? Am I just hiding behind the no dating rule? But I do have a responsibility as the boss. I couldn't sleep at all that night. Life's been pretty lively lately. But then, a month later, a big event rocked our company. Hey boss, guess what? I snagged a meeting with Fugo Corporation. Wait, Fugo Corporation? That's a huge deal! How did you manage that? Got real tight with the CEO at a cosplay event and he hooked me up. I thought I'd be useful for once. More than useful? Thank you! Congratulations. After that, I buried myself in making materials for the big meeting with Fugo Corporation coming up in a few days. Man, it's already this late. Everyone else is gone. Huh? Maya, you're still here? It's way past clocking out time. I just wanted to help you out, boss. Been digging up all sorts of information on Fugo Corporation. <laughs> you did all that? For me? I'll be there, as your secretary on the day. That's fine, right? Of course. That'd be great. Maya cares about me this much. Can I keep dodging this forever? Nah, I gotta face it. Maya, there's something I need to tell you. Huh? About what you said the other day. You know, you asked me out. I... I don't want to hear it. You're gonna reject me, right? Huh? Why do you think that? Because Haru's your type, right? No way a boring girl like me stands a chance. You don't know that. Just let me... No! I don't want to hear it! Calm down, Maya. I am calm! <gasps> Watch out! Ow! You okay? I... I I'm fine. You caught me, so... Good. Uh-oh. Whoa, we're really close. Maya's face is right there. Boss? Uh. I... I really like you, boss. Maya. Came to get something I'd forgotten. What are you two doing? Whoa! <gasps> wow! Sneaking around, huh? Nice. N no it's not like that. That was an accident. Didn't look like one. Hmm. Very fishy. <laughs> if Haru hadn't shown up, what would have happened? A few days later, it was finally the day of the meeting. You ready? I heard their CEO's real hard to please. Leave it to me. I got this. <laughs> That's the spirit, Maya. Naruo Fugo, the CEO of Fugo Corporation, is known for his gourmet tastes. He only meets with companies that bring him gifts he approves of. We prepped some fancy sweets from a top bakery, and Maya worked so hard on this, we should be fine, right? But when we handed over the gift... Sorry, sweetie, this isn't elegant enough. Huh? But in that magazine interview, you said you liked these. My tastes evolve, sweetie. Honestly, I'm over pastries. So yeah, can you please leave? I took the time to meet you out of respect for your president, Otakuda. But I'm a busy guy. What? But my boss worked so hard for this. Hold on. First, I'm sorry we didn't meet your expectations. But it's not your fault. Boss, it's all on me. Uh, no, if an employee messes up, it's the boss's responsibility, right? <sighs> and besides, we're not done here yet. Huh, and what's your plan? Unless you satisfy me, there's no deal. There's this killer spot nearby. I'm sure you'll love it. What? I've checked all the top places around here. It's a new place. Let me take you there. Ugh, 
Fine, lead the way. A few minutes later, where I took him was... Hey, Hiro and Maya! Long time no see! Ron? No way! She told me she opened up a shop recently. You could have told me. I asked him to keep it secret for the surprise. Nice one, right? Ugh. Anyway... Go ahead, give it a try. What's this squishy round thing? No knife and fork? I'm not eating... Just shut up and eat it. Oh, whoa, one bite's a bit. This, this is amazing. The best thing I've ever tasted. Told ya. There's more if you want. Really? I'll have more. <laughs> Looks like he likes it. Yeah, Ron never disappoints. A few hours later. We did it. Landed a big contract. Thanks. It's all thanks to you, Maya. I didn't do anything. I just got in the way. Huh? I'm useless. Haru's gonna take you from me. Uh... I know it's late, but... Would you go out with me? What? Why? I like you, Maya. You've always been there for me, and I've come to really admire your dedication and hard work. Huh? Are you sure? With me? It has to be you, Maya. <laughs> so happy. I like you too, boss. I mean, Hiro. So much. I like you too. And that's how we started dating. After that, through Fugo Corporation, a lot of work started pouring in for our company. The no dating rule was lifted. Aww, you beat me to it. I was kind of serious about you, you know. Sorry, but Hiro's mine now. No flirting. Yeah, I know. These two get along pretty well. All's good. By the way, how about being my lover on the side? What? No way! I told you no! Uh, back off! Hiro's only allowed to love me. <laughs> cool and sometimes surprisingly jealous. My important person shows me so many sides. I can't take my eyes off her now or ever. Hi, it's me, Mel. Thanks for watching my channel. I'm super happy if you watch the next and other videos too.